palette and aren't sure where to start, beauty expert Derek Selby is here to help you out. And we've even picked some fantastic models, uh, mother-daughter team mother -daughter. from the audience yeah. with Nancy and Stefania. Yeah. So we get the palette, hopefully maybe in the stocking. <sighs> yep. And then we're thinking, okay, how now do what? I use this? Do I use all the colors? How does no. it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> so no. right now there's such a trend of these palettes where they're like 12 up to 30 shades. And I see people where they're trying to use them all. Right. And it's not that long ago that with a trio or a quad, the consumer was going, where do I put the color? Right. So I'm going to show you an example um, of how to use. Number one, okay. and also how to use bright. Yes. So that's a challenge. So you have bright on today, right? Absolutely. And I did not do this. So this well, is all Tracy Peart. Big surprise. I look at right. I look at brights and I'm like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want things to go sideways. Exactly. Right? So the first thing I want to point out is with this palette, this is from Revlon. It's their lookbooks from their Color Stay brand. Okay. What I love about this is number one, it's small. Yeah. It's in your pocket. Number yes. two, there are no applicators in it. Okay, so that's good. Because then you can use your brushes or your fingers or your oh. sponges, whatever you have at home. I so see. the other thing I want to point out. Neutrals on the bottom, mm -hmm. color on top. So mm -hmm. with Nancy, what I've done is I've used the brown and the cream color here. So for example, cream up under here, which is neutral. Yeah. The chocolate brown here on her eyelid. Mm -hmm. And a trick here is skip your pencil and use the dark color as your eyeliner with an angled brush. Got it. Okay, number one. Okay. Then what do you do with this bright color? I don't know. So pick one color. Mm -hmm. And what I've done on Nancy on this eye already, if you look straight ahead, Nancy, look in the camera. You can see that little flash of that lime green. Yes. So what I'm doing is I'm wetting my angled brush yeah. with just water, mm -hmm. wetting this bright lime green, and I'm doing it as a winged eyeliner. Oh, smart. But I've already put on the brown, the chocolate brown yeah. as her eyeliner. So Got I'm just it. going slightly above it. So she has the depth and the um, whatever strength of the liner and definition from the brown. Yeah. But then this bright lime green. So this is a great way if you're not sure with color how to do it. This is great for holiday, but it's great for any time. Open yeah. your eye. I think it's great because we look at those colors and then we think, okay, I want to use it. Where do I put it? So eyeliner is a great way to get a little bit of pop. Yeah. And you controlled it with an angled brush and you didn't have to go, you know, crazy with the and blending. Or... with neutral. Tempered Everything's with neutral. neutral except for that pop of color. Yes. So it's a great trick to if you see something you like color wise, yes. that's a great way to jump into it. Looks okay? really good. We're going to your daughter now. We're going to Stefania. Okay. Hi, Stefania. Stefania. So what I've done here is I've already done her eyes. And again, I want to point out here, neutrals is the base. Yeah. Okay. So what I did here is I used this amazing bright sort of these teals here. Yeah, lovely. And here, what I've done is close your eyes just a little bit, right here. So just in the crease, mm -hmm. and I've done this so that when her eye is open, you get that, look straight ahead, you get that little halo of color. Yeah. Okay, so this way it's a little bit more dramatic, but I'm not trying to use them all at once, okay? Right. The other thing I've done here is I brought that color underneath the eye. Yep. In, so I've done the brown, mm -hmm. very thin, but then I took that teal just slightly over it, Okay. And it gives a little bit of definition and a little wash of color. Yeah. And so it's not as concentrated. And then another great trick that everybody can do this is this gorgeous gold here, great for the holidays, is fantastic in the inner corner of the eye. Nice. Great for nighttime parties. Yeah. Brightens it up instantly. So what's happening here, it looks more sophisticated because that teal is paired with the neutrals. Right. And it's not too much. now. <laughs> Stefania's a little bit younger, obviously. Mm -hmm. She could add this brighter teal right on the lid or even add that lime green as well. Right. But just in one spot. Don't overdo it because right. then it, it's too much. Okay. You've almost showed us we can use almost all the palette. Yeah, you can use all right? of Right? So and you then, can use them all but in different ways around the face. Exactly. And the other thing is experiment with them. Yeah. So a great trick that I've always suggested for people is play it when you're going to take your makeup off at night play with the color before you're gonna wash your face. So if you mess it up, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, and that way you'll you'll build your confidence. Yes. Don't wait to experiment with, with the holiday party. Yeah, as long as you haven't stumbled home at three o'clock well, in the morning after the, <laughs> the club, and you're just like, get yeah. these lashes On off. a weeknight is what I'm suggesting. On a weeknight, yeah. it's good. Yeah. That's the time when I really enjoy my makeup when I'm about to take, take it, it off. off. Right? That's I'm like, right. oh, she did a great job. Yeah.